A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God took Abram outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars, if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abram put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. He then said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land as a possession. O Lord God, he asked, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He answered him, Bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Abram brought him all these, split them in two, and placed each half opposite the other. But the birds he did not cut up. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses, but Abram stayed with them. As the sun was about to set, a trance fell upon Abram, and a deep, terrifying darkness enveloped him. When the sun had set and it was dark, there appeared a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch, which passed between those pieces. It was on that occasion that the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. The Word of the Lord. Our first reading on this second Sunday of Lent comes from the book of Genesis. We find Abraham being led by God. You know, all of us have had such an experience. When we were children, we were led by our parents. In school, we were led by our teachers. Now, it is an ambivalent experience to be led. On the one hand, it assures us that we are not walking alone. But on the other hand, if you do not know the one who's leading you, then you are really headed towards something mysterious. Where will this person lead me? Now, Abraham had that experience. The Lord was leading him to two destinations. First was the destination called a numberless uh, company of descendants. We know that Abraham and Sarah had difficulties having their own children. But now the Lord through a promise, is telling him, don't worry, I will lead you to the time when you have, will, you will have so many children. They are as numerous as the stars and countless as the sands of, of the earth. Now, will you, if you were Abraham, will you allow yourself to be led by God with that promise? Another thing is that God told him, I led you from the land of Ur to this land. So from one destination to another. And the question of Abraham was, how can I be assured that I will possess this land? So God leads Abraham to something unknown, to something which is humanly impossible. But God forges a covenant with Abraham. Entering the mystery of God's promise, Abraham got into a trance. No? Ganun naman talaga eh. Kapag nakaharap tayo sa isang misteryo, para tayong, parang nawawala tayo sa lupang ito. And uh, with the split of the carcasses of the animals, which was a custom at that time, two parties who were engaged in a covenant, they split the animals into two, and they pass through the halves of those bodies in order to wish each other fidelity. And if one party is not faithful to the covenant, then may I experience what these animals had experienced. Now, the Lord did the same covenant with Abraham. And Abraham, as we know, 
believing in God, allowed God to lead him. To lead him into a promise which sometimes does not make sense if we just base our reason on human calculation. How can I have so many children? That's a dark promise. But Abraham allowed God to lead him. You will take possession of this land. I am aging, but and, uh, I have no children. How can I take possession of this land? But God, who is known for his fidelity, was trusted by Abraham. And Abraham entered the mystery of God's promise. How about us? Will we allow God to lead us even to the dark promises that come from Him?